Well, we're joined here in the studio by our international affairs editor, Armand Georgian. Uh, Armand, just help us to understand, why is the United States doing this right now? Well, this withdrawal had been expected for months, and when it was first signalled, a common inter interpretation was that this move is really about China, uh, not about Russia. Um, when this pact was signed in 1987, China was not the military power that it is today, and it was never in the INF Treaty. Uh, meanwhile, the US was effectively constrained by being in the INF Treaty. It was not able to develop uh, middle-range missiles, while China was able to develop those those kinds of missiles because it was not in the, in the treaty. Now, of course, China is consolidating its position in the Western Pacific, and it does now have weapons that can keep U.S. aircraft carriers at a distance. Um, so clearly, the U.S. had to, uh, or, or, or sensed that it had to do something about China. Um, another interpretation on, on all this is that uh, by talking tough on Russia, Donald Trump changes the narrative on collusion, uh, at least for a while. And he's tried to do this before, if you will remember, um, when uh, he expelled the large number of uh, Russian diplomats following the Salisbury attack in the UK. OK, so this was a deal that dated back to the times of uh, Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev. It was a deal uh, struck in 1987. Just tell us a bit more about just what the intermediary uh, range, n intermediate range nuclear forces treaty actually was, Amon. Well, it banned short and medium range missiles. Uh, that's nuclear and non-nuclear uh, uh, devices. Uh, sea-launched weapons were not included, however. Uh, you mentioned Reagan and Gorbachev. That was a time when relations were improving between the Soviet Union and uh, the uh, United States. Uh, but uh, as we all know, things got worse really from the early 2000s uh, when that sort of honeymoon period between Russia and the US was over and uh, George W. Bush pulled out of the anti-ballistic missile treaty. He then moved to try to establish a missile defense shield in Europe, which of course uh, alarmed uh, the Kremlin very much. Um, and, you know, there have been many tensions since then. Uh, the Ukraine crisis obviously is the backdrop to many of the accusations that the U.S. has made against Russia, for example, uh, that it developed cruise missiles in violation of the INF Treaty. And that was actually an accusation made by Barack Obama in 2014. So these accusations we're hearing from Mike Pompeo today, they're certainly not new. So I think overall, Tom, you have to look at, uh, at today's events in the much broader context of uh, these worsening relations between Russia and the U.S. really since the early 2000s. OK, as so we understand, Russia will be given formal notice of that withdrawal during the course of Saturday. Thank you very much indeed. Armin Georgian from our International Affairs Desk. Thanks again.